They also learn how to program it and also how to troubleshoot it. So this allows us to be ready for smart manufacturing industry 4.0, uh, which is going to give us advantage over other uh, method of manufacturing. Yep. So this is, uh, if you have any question, I'll be more than happy to answer. How long does student work in this site? Like it's, it's not just one, one time through. Uh, it, is, it is not one time through. Normally our students also receive certification based on what they learn. Gotcha. So they can get certification for robotic and then they can move on up and gotcha. get different stuff. So but it, how long does it take to get certification when the time uh, student it, shows up? Roughly? It could be as little as one semester, which is uh, anywhere between 8 to 16 weeks. Depends yep. on if it is half or if it is a full gotcha. semester. Okay. Thank you. So this is uh, another uh, stop that we have. Sure. Again, we integrate our training, and so it's not really to be standalone. what you use for yeah. cabinets and wood yeah. and everything. Uh, and so we have some uh, staff here, so Alethea Ganaway, I'll introduce you when we step around, as well as one of our students, Joshua Cates. Good. 
that okay. will be here. Okay. So how was your travel? You had a good flight in? And, yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> Laboratory. This is our program man manager, Alethea Ganaway, nice and one of her you. You. and one of her Hi. students, Joshua Cates. Hello, Hi, Josh. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. Welcome to, to our Fab Lab. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about what we do here. Okay. All of these things were printed with additive manufacturing, which is a program we offer here at Tri C. We are the only two or four year college or university in Northeast Ohio that you can actually come here and get a credit credential in that technology. Um, here, I don't know how familiar you are with additive. You probably. I am fair, I am somewhat familiar. Okay. Have you heard the term 3D printing? I'm sure. Yes. I've yes. Seen that a number of times. Yes, that I is a technical. Watch print a car. Print a car. I got to ride in a 3D printed car. <laughs> Me too. Yes. Yes. So it's great. It was very bumpy. Um, we um, additive manufacturing. It's just adding layers of material on top of each other to create a physical object from a 3D CAD model. So our students here would learn um, design for additive manufacturing. They would learn about engineering materials. They learn reverse engineering, 3D scanning, and how to operate printers. Of the seven additive manufacturing technologies, we are able to offer them four different types. We have over 30 3D printers. This here is a desktop. This is kind of where they would start off with. This is a Maker Gear printer. Um, we have one over there as well, printing a skyline. I don't know who did it. that. Oh, uh, he actually works with us as a um, lab supervisor, and he made that in the fab lab, um, utilizing on the other side of there is our woodworking um, area. So we offer many different types of technology here. We even 3D printed the blue collar blueprint for America. So we do a that, That's what this is. That's yes. what we're doing. Yes, and additive manufacturing is just a great technology that's emerging. Um, we've seen it with the pandemic um, where it's adaptable easily, making headbands. This here is a valve yep. that was for a respirator. And in fact, we try to have our students do real world projects. Um, what you just picked up actually goes on here. We work with the VA, the Lou Stokes. Yep, that's and this was made up. for veterans who might be disabled or not be able yep. to move their hands. They would attach one of these to this, and every time I put them on, I, oh, I thought it would stay. They would be able, instead of having yeah. to use their hands, they could just do like this yeah. and garden and be able to do a little recreation there. Yep. So those are some of the things we try we to do. We have more amputees coming back from these wars than any more since yes. the Civil War. Yes, and Walter Reed Medical Center is doing some great things. They are. Yes, Cleveland Clinic, they do some stuff. We're trying to work with them to make and every one of them. It's one of my passions. Yes, yes. I visit every every hospital where amputees are in the country. The big